Hello everyone, welcome to Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the working of electronic balance, how to use electronic balance in the laboratory classes to prepare the samples of known concentration. So let's start with the working of electronic balance. Here is our electronic balance. So first let's put on the power button of this electronic balance. This is initializing first. These are the capacity, least count and the weight it is measured in grams. Here is the ediochrome black tea which we are going to prepare. It is the reagent bottle and now our electronic balance is ready it shows zero our balance can work up to 0 0.000 grams of weight and the maximum is 100 grams which is mentioned on this white sticker this is the paper in the square form and now we fold the corners so that it can hold the sample effectively It would be better if you use the butter paper instead of this white paper. Since I do not have, so I use simple white paper. And the weight of this paper is, and the weight of this paper is 0 0.281. If in this form we add our sample, then that is to be added. So we need to mention this first in our notebook and then whatever be the weight after putting the sample over this white paper we need to subtract that after weight and before this is 0 0.281 so only then we will get the weight of the sample but here is the facility which is which is given over here is tear so that the weight of this paper becomes zero and we need not to add or subtract anything from this. We simply get the weight of the sample. So this is the ediochrome black tea, how it looks like. You can see it. Now I put it over my paper and here is the weight of the sample, which is kept on this white paper. Here, I would like to suggest you to first transfer this sample to the reagent water and then after weigh your paper again and since some of the particles of this reagent attach to this paper so you will get the actual weight after subtracting 0 0.034 minus the weight of that paper after transferring the sample to the reagent bottle only then you will come to know how much weight of the sample you have transferred to the reagent bottle otherwise you will think that you transfer 0.034 to the reagent bottle and you will calculate the concentration corresponding to this weight but here you do not know how much sample is sticked on this white paper so I would suggest for the researchers or the students which are preparing samples for their project works, you please do this kind of exercise while preparing the solutions. I hope you understand how to weigh on an electronic balance. Thank you all.